guys, I'm Me from FRC Outlaws, and today, before we get started, if you like what you see here, subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and comment below. So today, we're doing an easy review. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 5 best camera drones under $100. Our first drone that we're going to be doing today is the Iashin E58. The E58 is a Wi-Fi drone, it's 96 grams and it's currently $74.99 on Amazon. It is a camera drone, not an FPV racer drone, and its current flight time is 7 to 9 minutes. It's a very good foldable drone, and it's similar looking to the DJI Mavic. And when it folds, it's compact, and it can easily be stored in a book bag, a suitcase, or any other small place that you can fit. So I would definitely recommend this if this is a drone that you want for vacation, like you're trying to go to a beach or something like that and you have to put it in your book bag or a small space in the car. So I definitely recommend this drone if you're planning on taking it on trips or something like that. Our next drone today is the DJI Tello. The Tello is also a Wi-Fi drone. It's 80 grams and it's currently $99.99 on Amazon. It's a camera drone and the flight time for, this flight time for the drone is 13 minutes. My personal review over this drone is that it's a good drone and it connects to your phone and because it's DJI it really lives up to that reputation of the, the best drones that you can get out there. And the camera quality on this drone is also really good for being under $100 even though with taxes it will be over that. Um, but with the drone being so small you can have it in small spaces so if you wanted to fly the drone in your house you could do that, but I definitely recommend to just keep it outside where it belongs. So unless you have an indoor drone, use it outside. But this is a good drone, I definitely recommend it for anybody that has the money to get it or just wants a new drone. Our next drone on the list is the Sima X8C. The X8C is also a Wi-Fi drone. Its weight is 1,856 grams, and don't shoot the messenger if I'm wrong. But when I looked all the weights up for the different types of drones, I got these answers. But it does seem kind of off to me that the Sima X8C is 1,856 grams. And the JJRC H68 is only 830. It's more than double. Um, but whatever. Um, so the price for this drone currently is $61.99. It is a camera drone, obviously. And the flight time for this drone is 5 to 8 minutes. My personal review of this drone is that it's a pretty good drone. And the landing gear, though, is not the greatest. Um, because it's not perfectly flat when you land, it's kind of be kind of tilted. And I personally had this drone. And it was pretty windy one day. And I was trying to land it, but it was just, I don't know, diagonally going down. And then the... Um, the two front landing gear pieces broke so the plastic isn't the greatest, the camera quality isn't the greatest but I do really like this drone, there's a low and high mode for speed so even if it is windy outside just put the high speed mode on and it's good for that. Um, so our next drone today is the Holy Stone HS110D. This drone is also Wi-Fi FPV it's 150 grams and it's $69.99 on Amazon. It's a camera drone and the flight time for this drone is 10 minutes. My personal review of this drone is that it's a good drone for beginners. It has prop guards and it has good landing gear and it's a great price. It's also affordable for almost anybody, but if you just want this drone, even if you have more than enough money to buy a better drone, this is definitely a possible drone for you to get. I think it's pretty nice. But the time that you can use this drone is also kind of limited because you have like those three months during the summer that you can use this drone but during the winter and all that stuff where it's cold and because it's cold outside the plastic starts to get hard and not as flimsy because of the heat during the summer so it's a lot easier to break pieces. But um, I definitely recommend this drone if you want it. Um, there was the picture if you like what it looks like. That was kind of the thing for me for the Sima X8C. I looked at a few reviews and looked at the picture and it looked cool to me, so I bought it. Um, but that's whatever. So next on the list is the JJRC H68. 
Drum is also Wi-Fi FPV. It's 830 grams and it's 87.98. It, it is a camera drone and the flight time for this drone, which really surprised me, it says 40 minutes. I haven't seen anybody test it out, but 40 minutes is a really, a really long time, especially for a drone under $100. Um, so my personal review of this drone is that it's a really good looking drone, but the Wi-Fi has a lag because it's a Wi-Fi drone. So when you're looking on your phone, it's like um, half a second behind compared to real time. So your drone might be over here, but in the camera you see right here. So there's just that little bit of lag part. So um, it all is pretty good though. Um, and because the battery lasts so long, it's really good for beginners. So you don't really have to worry about how much time I have left when you have a seven to eight minute drone. You do have to worry about it eventually once it gets down to that time, but when the battery gets low, the lights will blink, so that's all you really need to know about that drone. Um, that's all the drones for today. I'm E from FRC Outlaws. If you like what you see here, subscribe, like, click that notification bell for new videos, or if you want to see our old ones, you can click on our channel and go see those. I'm E. Peace out.